Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover ACF, or sometimes it's known as um, GCF, highest common factor or greatest common factor. Some people may call it GCD, uh, greatest common divisor. By but uh, personally, I don't like to call it divisor because divisor may may not mean that remainder is zero okay but factor is always means remainder is zero now what is acf let's think about two pieces of ribbon okay i have a ribbon that one two three four five six centimeter long so one two three four five six centimeter that's one of the ribbon and let's say i have another piece of ribbon one two three four four five six seven eight that's eight centimeter long one two three four five six seven eight now how many pieces i can get and um, i'm not gonna waste any of the uh, ribbon okay from these two definitely i can cut both of them by one centimeter each one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter that's gonna give me total of six of them and over here, I'm going to get total of eight of them. One centimeter, one centimeter. So in both cases, I can get either one or one. Okay, one centimeter pieces of ribbon. But if I'm asking what is the greatest um, length of the ribbon I can cut, so I'm not going to waste any pieces of ribbon. Um, what about two centimeter? Let's see. If I if I cut two from here, okay, let's say I have this two piece, uh, two centimeter long ribbon. Then I have another one. See that? Uh, let me use the different color uh, this another one that's two centimeter again another pieces two centimeter long and i have another one here okay so two centimeter here so that's two centimeter pretty good that's bigger than one what about over here can i get two centimeter yeah i can cut two centimeter from here one piece two centimeter another piece two centimeter so that's two centimeter and here is another piece Two centimeter pretty good and this one is another two centimeter okay so I can either cut one one centimeter pieces or two centimeter pieces or two centimeter pieces can I try three let's see if I cut this one three see this three okay so in this case three and over here of course I have another three pieces this is six so another three centimeter long ribbon over here i can get one three centimeter pieces so that's one three centimeter pieces and over here i have another one and that's i can i hope you can see this whatever i'm trying to do it over here so that's three centimeter but here i have left only two centimeter that's not equal to this okay so three centimeter long i cannot get from this one i can get two pieces and one pieces two centimeter long that's if i if i'm asking uh, for three centimeter long pieces this is a waste is okay now highest common factor determines that we are not gonna waste any pieces of the ribbon okay let's extend this one okay now if i have um, three pieces like 12 centimeter long and then uh, 18 centimeter long and then another one is 30 centimeter long okay now according to this factor when a number is div divided by a number and re uh, have remainder zero then we call that one is a factor for that number so two is a factor for six similarly we're going to express all these numbers as its uh, as its uh, factors all the factors now 12 has factors i hope you have seen my uh, last videos on factor and factorization so all the factors of 12 are 1 2 3 then 4 6 and 12 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 18 all the factors of 18 are 1 2 3 then it doesn't go by 4 then 6 it goes by 9 then 18 okay um 30 I can divide it by 1 then 2 3 it doesn't go by 4 but 5 
and then 6 then 10 then 15 then 18 these are all the factors of 12 the first one all the factors of 12 uh, these are all the factors of 18 these are all the factors of 30 now look at this one is a common factor for all three of them okay so common factors common factors of this three numbers are one and then of course i have another one two two is also a common factor so i have another common factor two i have common factor three so i can write down three then i don't have four all the way but i have six see that i have six over here so that's six no other factors are common among these four common factors see that four common factors six is the largest okay largest common factor so this is known as acf and that's that okay this is the basic concept now there are other ways to find out uh, uh highest common factor i'll show you a few but first you need to know uh if you are given two numbers let's say three and four you need to find out the uh, uh acf of three and four but you know that when two numbers have nothing in common except one, then we call that co-prime. When you are given co-primes and find out the, uh, ask to find out the ACF, then ACF is going to be one. Okay. When you have two numbers that are co-prime, then the ACF is going to be one. Okay. Let's come to another type of number. Let's say you have four and eight. Now this four is divisor of 8 or we can say 8 is a multiple of this 4 okay 8 is a multiple of 4 now you are asked to find out ACF of this so ACF in this case is going to be the fourth the smallest number okay now if you were asked again this one I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this one so you can see that uh, it doesn't matter how many different method we use. We always going to get the same answer. We, I'm going to use a short division method. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's 12, 18, and 30. Short division methods. What I need to do, I need to find a factor that's common for all these three numbers. 2, yeah. 2, 6 is 12. 2, 9 is 18. 2, 15 is 30. Now, I can divide this by 2. But look at this, 9 and 15 are not divisible by 2. So 2 is not a common factor for all these new numbers here, 6, 9, and 15. Can I divide it by 3? Sure. 3, 2 is a 6. 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 5 is a 15. Now, there is no more common factor except 1. So my ACF would be these two common factors here. ACF would be 2 times 3 equal to 6 and you can see that that's actually the same answer <clears throat> another way to do this is the <clears throat> prime factorization okay now 12 if I divide it by 2 2 6 are 12 then 2 3 is a 6 so 12 can be written as 2 squared times 3 and then I have 18 divided by 2 2 9 is a 3 3 is a so 18 can be written as 2 times 3 square and then let's comes to 30 okay this is a short division i'm expressing each of this number 12 18 and 30 as their prime factors so it divides by 2 2 15 is a 30 3 times 5 now 30 can be written as 2 times 3 times 5 okay so these are the three way to express this number as their prime factors now acf would be this is our keyword common so all the common base if you look at it two and three are common in all these three numbers five is not common so i'm not gonna take five i'm gonna take only two and three and the next step is take the lowest common uh, lowest uh, power of each of the common factor okay now 2 is a common factor and look at this the f 
first time uh, whenever we are doing 12 the power of 2 is 2 now in 18 power of 2 is 1 and 30 power of 2 is 1 so lowest power is 1 so 2 to the power 1 same thing over here 12 uh, when uh, 3 is the device uh, factor of uh, 12 then the power is 1 when it's uh, 18 is power 2 and 30 power 1 so lowest power is 1 so I'm gonna put 1 so if you multiply this 2 it's gonna be 6 so this this and this all gives me same answer okay this is how we do the ACF uh, this is very easier easier way to find out and uh, fastest way to find out the ACF I hope you understand this one if you if you don't please uh, rewind the video and uh, check that and this is prime factorization uh, uh, whenever I express some of the numbers uh, as their prime factors then uh, we are going to find out the ACF taking the common factors with the lowest power this is very interesting and uh, efficient method whenever we are dealing with algebraic ACF that means involve unknown numbers okay see you in the next video explaining LCM yeah. thank you very much have a good day